Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Spooler subsystem app has encountered an error and needs to close. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in services. Best results should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Then you want to go ahead and locate the print spooler service. So go scroll down here. And you want to go double click on that. Set startup type to automatic. And if service status is stopped, you want to make sure it's running. So now that you have this up here, you want to set service status to stopped. So select the stop button here. Select OK. Minimize out of the services window at this point. And then you want to go open up the start menu. And I'm going to have a file path I'm going to have in the description of the video starts with a percent sign and ends with printers. You want to copy that and paste it into the start menu right here. And it should be a best match folder that should appear. Go ahead and open that up. Select continue if you need to get access to this folder here. And any items that are in this folder you want to just highlight over them, right click and delete. Or if you want to use a delete button on your keyboard to delete them, whatever works for you. So make sure you delete anything in there, and then once you're done with that, you can close out of here. Now we want to go back to services that we minimize down to our taskbar. Open back up print spooler and service status. You want to go ahead and click the start button. And you also want to make sure startup type is set to automatic as well if it wasn't already. Select so apply and OK. Close out of here. Restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.